how, how do you approach it, at Maureen? What's uh, the, the technologies that you're using? What are they enabling you to do? Yeah, I think we've kind of had a two kind of phase approach right now in our reality where we're generating these huge amounts of data in our wet lab up front of this phenomics data as well as transcriptomics data and proteomics data more recently to have this huge embedding space that can look at gene 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 compound interactions and across the entire genome and really starting from that broad expansive space to be able to quickly look for novel biology and find new hits and this we've really been focusing now through our combination earlier or late last year to be able to quickly say okay once we have a hit how do we be able to use our design platform to generate as few molecules as possible to be able to get that compound that can go to the clinic. And I think the really exciting thing for us this year was looking at the CDK7 trial and their readout of they were able to, in less than a year, with around 130-something um, synthesized compounds, find a target from the hit ID phase. And that just really fast movement of the combined space of big data up front from the wet labs to find the areas to focus to how do we quickly get as few molecules generated as possible to move forward is really exciting for me.